Hi you guys! In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this cute custom cover for my Hobonichi journal using this clear cover by Midori and some paper that I picked up from Paper Source. Here's the paper that I chose. It's by Rifle Paper Company and I thought the pattern and colors were so cute. I also got this craft paper with white leaf design for my planner. The first thing you want to do is cut your paper so that there's about an inch or two border above and below the size of your journal. Then you want to position the paper so that you get the pattern the way you like it. Once you've positioned the paper in a way that you like, check the front and the back. Then pull the paper a little bit over the cover's edge and then fold it down. Then you're going to open the paper up and do a hard fold right there and make sure it's creased down nicely. I didn't leave very much space, but after doing this a few times, I found that leaving a little bit more space than I did here is better. So I'd say about two to three inches even. Once you do the front cover, do the same thing to the back. I had a little bit too much space here, so I went ahead and cut off the excess. And then I folded it over just like I did the front. And while doing this, make sure that the cover paper is really tight before you make your fold. Once you've folded the back, you can slip your cover back inside and close your book. Now you're starting to get an idea of how it will look. Now let's finish it off by folding the top and the bottom. So the same way you found the cover on the sides, you're gonna do for the top and the bottom by just making a little crease and then taking your book out and folding the paper up where you have the crease. Now adjust the fold so that the bottom fold or the top fold comes first and then the sides. This way your book cover will slip right in. Slide your book back in and then do the same thing for the top by doing a fold first and then opening it up and creasing it down. Putting the book cover on is really easy. You just open it up and then slip the front and back cover of your book into the folded flaps. Here you can see I'm just repeating the process with the other paper that I got from Paper Source, and this time I'm covering my planner. I think these papers were about five or six dollars from Paper Source, and each one could make two A5 book covers. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you're interested in checking out this clear cover that I'm using, it's by Midori and I ordered mine on Amazon. I think they're about $6. So check the description box for that. And you can also buy these papers from Paper Source online. So I'll link those too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.